Hey guys, what's up? Son of Chelsea here from 100% Chelsea for another top five. Now, all of us on the channel here are going to be doing this top five. It's our top five players that have played for Chelsea. This is, of course, my opinion. So guys, let me know in the comments your top five Chelsea players because, of course, this is really about a debate. It's your opinion as well as mine. So let's get to my list of my favourite Chelsea players, top five. Number five is going to be Ashley Cole. Now, Ashley Cole for me is the, the best English left back to ever play the game. You know, just he could be one of the best left backs in the world to ever play football. You know, he is an amazing, amazing player. What he's done for Chelsea, the, the performances he's put in. I think one of the best things about him, though, was that move from Arsenal to Chelsea. He moved from North London to West London, where it was supposed to be. He was supposed to come to Chelsea. Eventually, he pushed for the move and got it. And look, he came to Chelsea and won lots and lots and lots of trophies. Just an amazing defender and for me, is just the best left back I've ever seen. It's going to take a lot for a player to come in and do what he did at Chelsea. Number five is Ashley Cole. Number four is the goalkeeper, Petr Cech. Uh, absolute legend, you know. There's going to be many legends in my opinion on this list, but he is one of them. When he came in in 2004 under Jose Mourinho, you know, Carlo Cudicini had done his time at Chelsea. You know, he'd been a brilliant keeper, a brilliant first keeper, but Jose Mourinho brought him in. We'd already actually signed him before Jose had come in the previous season. And he arrived at Chelsea and slotted right in. He was Chelsea's number one for what? It was It was over a decade, you know, and, and to, to think that he was at that level for so long. And that's why like I say is still amazing, you know. I think we all have fears that it was going to hit his back like and go in, but what a man, what a player, what a dedicated professional, what a keeper, one of the best in the world, probably still is. And, you know, even though he has moved on now, he is still a Chelsea legend. All of us at Chelsea still love him. Now, the third one may be a little bit controversial in a way because I think this guy scored probably the most important goal in Chelsea's history. Put the penalty away in Munich, Didier Drogba. Now, Didier Drogba is absolutely everything that a Chelsea striker should be. He's passionate, he's aggressive, he scores goals, he's a big game player, and he is the professional that every Chelsea player should look towards. There's gonna to be a lot of them in this list, but he is one of them as a striker. The amount of big goals he scored in cup finals, in Champions League games, in big Premier League games. You know, I've never seen a player just continually step up in a big occasion. And as I mentioned with Petr Cech, that night in Munich, that header, that penalty, everything he'd done was just uh, uh, just absolutely rounded up his career at Chelsea. Of course, he came back for his second stint at Chelsea for last season, which sure wasn't quite as good, but still helped out the team, was able to collect yet another medal for Chelsea, a Premier League medal and a League Cup medal. So Didier Drogba is regarded as well as one of Chelsea's greatest ever players, and he definitely deserves his place on this list. What a man, what a player, Didier Drogba, legend. Number two, Captain, leader, legend. Do I say any more? JT, John Terry. The man is Mr. Chelsea. Uh, he is Chelsea through and through. Um, just the guy, just you think of the years he's been at Chelsea and the years, the adversity he's gone through, uh, the controversies off the pitch, which I won't discuss right now. But also, like, I just recently, I mean, you could pick up at the fact that in recent years, he's had some of his best years at Chelsea, even when. He's, he's gotten older in his career and you think now he's going to start to slow down as a player, but he hasn't. He's continued to be brilliant for Chelsea. And that's what I love about JT. He goes through adversity. He goes through criticism. Many people thought his career was over a few years ago, but he proved all of them wrong, came back and was a better defender probably than before, you know, in so many ways. Back in that 4 5 season, what a leader. The amount of things he's gone through for Chelsea, you know, I, I think back to certain occasions when Say, for instance, in the 2007 League Cup final, where Abu Dhabi kicked his head and basically gave him a concussion. Now, most players would probably rest, you know, think, I'm not coming back, you know, for a few months. But JT, the leader, the legend himself, came back from hospital, back in the dressing room to celebrate with the Chelsea players after they'd won that trophy in terms of leading us on the pitch through massive games and scoring goals as cool. He is the highest scoring Premier League defender. That is another tally to his amazing career. So John Terry, captain leader legend. I hope he doesn't retire anytime soon because without him, Chelsea just isn't the same. Number one, my favorite player of all time. I'm sure like many of you, who else? Frank Lampard, super Frankie Lampard. I've got a personal story with Frank Lampard. Uh, my first ever game for Chelsea 
when my dad took me when I was five years old. Didn't know, my parents didn't know if I was actually going to enjoy football. Of course, my dad, because he's a Chelsea fan, because my family were Chelsea fans, had to take me to the bridge. They took me to the bridge. They sat me down in the West Stand lower. My dad pointed at the Chelsea players who were warming up. I didn't know any, anything about football, basically. And he said, who's your favourite player? I pointed at one player. That player turned out to be Frank Lampard. And since then, since that day, he has been my favourite player. I think we could talk about all his achievements on the pitch, but just the man himself, the professional, I think he is a role model. I think he is the definition of a role model. Uh, consistently working hard. You, you hear about the hours he put in outside of training, constantly making himself better, even though he'd achieved so much, even in his latter years at Chelsea and even now, he is such a professional. The amount of goals he scored, and I personally still think Frank Lampard was an underrated player, but not to us Chelsea fans, because we knew how good he was. We knew that when we needed him, he'd step up, how critical he was in big games, you know. Not even just the case of, you talk about leaders, like John Terry, you could pick at that. Frank Lampard was one of these players who led by example over a period of time. The goals, the stats that back Frank Lampard's career up, highest Chelsea goal scorer of all time. I'm gonna, I, I think it's going to be difficult for a player to reach that standard again anytime soon. He is absolutely definition of what I want a Chelsea player to be. Um, just passionate, just dedicated, just willing, just willing to work hard. Overall, Frank Lampard is my favourite Chelsea player of all time. As I say, this list is very, very, I guess in, in a way could be opinionated, you know, but these are personally my top five players. So let me know, guys, in the comments below your top five players of all time at Chelsea. As I say, Max, Eunice and Louis will be doing theirs, so you can go and check them out when they come out. But yeah, tell me your opinions on my top five list. These have been my opinions. Thank you guys for watching. You can follow me personally on Twitter, at Son of Chelsea. Also, you can check out my own YouTube channel, Son of Chelsea. Make sure you subscribe to 100% Chelsea. All the social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you again. Chelsea! Chelsea! Come on guys, make it to the middle!